uh, Epic has a promise to have all its customers that everything in an Epic box when you buy it is good, fun, and worse. And looking at Unreal Tournament 2004, a surprising number of people for our multiplayer game never went online. It was something like less than 50%. And our single player wasn't good enough. Like, I don't know if they didn't want to deal with e-jerks. Uh, they didn't have an internet connection. Their ego couldn't take being beaten by a human. But, uh, but fundamentally, they weren't going online. UT3 has a single player worthy of those people who want to play offline. It's got a branching campaign. Uh, so you can make choices. Do I you know, rebuff the invasion that's starting? Or do my original task? Well, if you ignore that invasion, you're going to pay You're going to pay for that down the line. Um, you can steal technology and optional missions in warfare and, and use that technology down the line. So now your vehicles have stealth technology. Uh, there's a lot of persistence that's going on throughout it all. It's sort of like a Conan story. You're cutting this bloody swath of revenge across these uh, the galaxy, across these planets, and uh, you have distinct characters. You're a, you're an individual with personalities. Your team has personalities. You know they comment not only in the uh, strategic layer where you're choosing where to go next, but in missions. So the first time you see a planet or face an enemy, they have grudges and vendettas, and, and they'll quip about all that. So it really feels like a kick-ass, you know, eight to ten hour single player experience.